welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Amdekanu, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality is a a Biafran group issued quick notice to multinational oil companies operating in Bakasi Peninsula, a Biafran territory. And our Bansonian brothers, the Bansonian freedom fighters, demolished Nigerian special forces that came to stop what is happening they came to stop the quit notice but they were demolished they were demolished you know the Biafran group had issued a quit notice to the multinational oil companies operating under Nigeria in the Bakasi Peninsula which is a Biafran territory. The Biafran group said that Nigeria government, the full and Nigerian government, gets 60% of the oil in the Bakasi Peninsula. And they use the money to sponsor the terrorist Nigerian military against IPOB, against the Sun Security Network, against Biafra, where they are currently committing genocide on a daily basis. And that is why the Biafran group issued a quit notice to those oil companies because they are the one funding the Fulani Janjaweed and they are the one helping them to get weapons with which they use to massacre Biafrans. And that has to stop. It has to stop because the source of their money must be dried up. It must be dried up. You know, the Biafran group accused the Fulani Nigerian government of killing armless pro Biafran supporters in Imo State, in River State, and other states of Biafra land. And that's what they do. They get the money from Biafra land and they use the money to terrorize Biafrans. And that has to stop. You know, that has to stop. They said that the Nigerian government will have to stop operating in Bakasi Peninsula. They have to because they stated that Nigeria no longer had rights over Bakasi Peninsula since the territorial ownership was ceded to Cameroon. And they have no rights to be sending Fulani terrorist Nigerian military to Bakasi Peninsula because it is now a fully Biafran territory and Biafrans are in charge of the peninsula. They are in charge. But you know the Fulani Janjaweed are very stubborn. They are stubborn. There was panic and tension around the Nigerian Cameroon borders as the special forces, that is the Fulani terrorist Nigerian special forces, engaged the Ambazonian freedom fighters in a heavy gun battle around the Econ border town of Cross River State. Biafra land. 
according to the Biafran group, they said that the, there was heavy gunfire and the Ambazonian separatist freedom fighters chased and demolished the Nigerian special forces. They demolished them. They thought they are ragtag uh, Boko Haram or ragtag uh, Fulani bandits. No, these ones are not ragtag. They are men, strong men. But the Nigerian government are now lying that they arrested scores of Ambazonians. That's what they said. They claim that they arrested the top commander of the Ambazonian separatist fighter identified as General Black Mamba. And that is a very big lie. They were decimated. They were decimated. The Fulani terrorist Nigerian military were decimated. Some of them were sent to judgment and the rest escaped. They luckily escaped. They ran for their dear life and they now rushed to the compromised Nigerian news media to claim audio victory. The Fulani Nigerian security agencies are said to be carrying out arrests after the Ambazonians attacked Nigerian securities and collected their guns. You see, they collected their guns, they attacked them, and they demolished them. And the Nigerian terrorist military, they ran away. They left all their ammunition and weapons and ran for their, their lives. They ran. And the Ambazonians, separatist fighters, took everything. They took everything. They took everything. And this is why the Nigerian government must leave Biafra land. Because the Fulanese have been roundly defeated. They have been defeated. They ceded the ownership of Bakasi to Cameroon. And now that Biafrans have taken over Bakasi, they have now come back with the help of the multinational oil companies who gives them 60% of the proceeds from the oil in Bakasi Peninsula. And that is where they get money to fund their massacre and genocide operations in Biafra land. And that has to stop. Our leader, Mazin Amdekanu, said some years ago that a time will come when the world will talk about Biafra, will talk about IPOB, you know? And this week, that prophecy came to pass, word for word. It came to pass. It came to pass when CNN, an American TV station, and uh, a TV company was discussing about Mazen Namdekanu, IPOB, and the call for new Biafra independence. And they talked about the genocide going on in Biafra land. And they also talked about the Nigerian government, led by Fulani Janjaweed, supporting terrorism in the zoo called Nigeria. The Fulani Nigerian government were so terrified and they were frustrated and now they are buying any group in the so-called Niger Delta to denounce Biafra in order to deny Biafra access to the sea as a punishment for breaking away from the zoo. But they lie because a Biafran group is in charge of Bakasi Peninsula. They are in charge. They can bribe all those uh, 
uh, thieves and uh, contractors in the so-called Niger Delta. But the youth of Niger Delta wants freedom. They want to be with their Igbo cousins in order to form a formidable Biafra nation. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Thank you for supporting us. Bye-bye for now.